And so I thought this was really incredible. I was like, finally, I have found the thing that I want to do. And I'm 32 years old and I, this is going to be incredible. And then this day happened. Are you able to share a 7-2 moment that just, you decided I'm gonna play this hand and it just changed the trajectory of your life or your career? My story is, I don't know if Jazz maybe shared the same story, but I guess I can only talk about it from my vantage point. I had just started in real estate when I was 30 years old. So I, again, I had changed my career so many times, gone back to school. Now I'm finally like, hey, this is what I'm gonna commit to. I joined this team. Um, I was kind of dabbling in my own, like working my own book of business for two years. And then I started working with Jazz and Simon and, and Simeon and their investor clients. And I was like, oh, this is this is so much fun. Investor clients, they're multi-transactional. They, the amount of education they have around real estate is incredible. I, I was almost learning more from them at the start about investing and I hadn't had any investment properties at that time. And so I thought this was really incredible. I was like, finally. I have found the thing that I want to do and I'm 32 years old and I, this is going to be incredible. And then this day happened where Simon had passed away. And so obviously it's just dealing with overcoming that and um, was tough over the course of the next two weeks, like the funeral and, and putting all that together. We actually had clients who were in the middle of contract that I still was working with. So the very next day, I mean, I was on the phone still working deals because I couldn't let my clients down, right? So that was a very tough two weeks. But then what happened is a massive partnership that we had, unfortunately, decided given the circumstance around the death that um, they needed to let us go. And so talk about kicking someone while they're down. I totally understand they needed to do so. So I'm not dogging them by any means, but I mean, everything was just unraveling. Like we were at rock bottom. We were dealing with police and dealing with family and the complexity of the business. Now with one less partner, the legalities of that. And then, you know, what would our clients think? Like our actual clients, like, do they not want to work with us anymore? And then to actually have a major partnership back out. We just couldn't have been more at rock bottom. I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, we went, would sit outside. We would all go do everything together. Like if one of us said, I have to go to the bathroom, we would do it as a team. Mm -hmm. No one wanted to be alone. We spent so much time together. We would go and sit out on park benches together. We went out to Roots and bought like entire sweatsuits and socks so that when we got home that night, we knew we would all kind of be cozy in the same clothing. And that was a shitty hand, mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta say. Uh, that was 2017, that was a really shitty hand. Then we finally got mustered up the strength. Okay, we're gonna keep going. We had our first major opportunity that we were launching. It was some student housing in Waterloo. And we called all these people. We had two, uh, a massive bus, like picture like a, a big, big Greyhound bus that we rented because we had, I think it was 50, over 50 people who had confirmed that they were gonna come. They were gonna come look at the properties and um, so we were pumped, like we're back, we, we did this. And just a few short months, we turned it all, it all around. It was a, a cold day, uh, a very wintry day and storming essentially outside. And the bus shows up and we all show up and two groups, like two couples show up. And these four individuals, they had already purchased. They were just kind of coming along to, be a part of it. Like as a, you know, we wanted to thank them for already having purchased. So there was no way we were gonna get a new purchase out of this. And we went, I mean, the bus ride there was so depressing in the middle of winter with no new clients, your old clients on the bus, no one showed up. After we had confirmed with them like three times, like we knew what they wanted to eat for lunch. We were like, we put on a show and no one comes. I mean, and it was just like, should we quit? Mm -hmm. Like, are we nothing without this partner who we had lost, like maybe it's us, maybe we suck. And, um, you know, we kind of all went home that day. We still put on a, the best show we could for the people who did come. And we all went home that day, I think a little bit beat up. And um, the next day was a Monday and we came into work again. And I, I'll never forget, Jazz said, guys, let's just go back to basics. Let, I, I know what works in real estate. It's following up with your clients. So we just need to worry about the clients we do have. We're not gonna worry about the ones we don't have. We're certainly not gonna worry about the ones who never showed up. We have a group of people who haven't left us, who are still taking our phone calls, taking our emails. We're gonna reach out to those people. And we're gonna see how we can provide them with value. We're going to invite them to parties where we don't talk about real estate. 
We're going to provide them with education. We're going to provide them with opportunity. And we're going to do it one phone call at a time. Let's go back to basics. And that is slowly but surely we can build on small successes. Mm -hmm. And I mean, one deal when we're all eating off of one deal is not a lot of money, right? And so we, you, there was a couple tough months there where we were like, who's paying for lunch today? Cause my credit card's maxed out, yours is maxed out. But we just built on one success. We just needed one deal. We needed one client to say, I still trust you guys to want to do business with you. And that now, I mean, we're probably doing, like our team is probably doing between five and 600 transactions a year. Me, myself, I probably touch anywhere between 160 to 200 transactions every year. And that's just in, in three short years. So it's really just simplify things, mm -hmm. simplify things. It's not, it's don't make things overly difficult, just brick by brick, right? Um, so that was, you know, I think how we turned, we turned a seven, two into a, a winning poker hand.